With Flight 3 being painfully close to being released for us, Ring 3 Halo Insiders to enjoy, Postum's recently put up an update on what to expect when it comes to Flight 3 and the update on MCC. Halo Reach Armor Customization, what you have to do before being able to play Flight 3, the goals involved with Flight 3, and some graphic card information as well when it comes to Reach on PC. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. We're currently talking about the Flight 3 awesomeness that's going to be coming to our ways this month hopefully. If you guys like these news informational videos please make sure to tap that like button that lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your hopes and dreams are when it comes to this flighting program. Are you going to be involved with it? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related that's Rage Flight 3. Uh, MCC Awesomeness, Infinite, Halo 5, MCC in general. Make sure you guys tap subscribe on the channel here. It keeps you up to date with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the video. Like I said at the top of this video guys, Postums recently gave us a new dev blog update when it comes to the MCC stats right here, especially for Halo Reach. And they're talking about the current status on it. Recently, last time we got some, any information, it was currently at Ring Zero, which is only internal play testing, and about to be handed off to Ring One, where they only noticed about Ring One, Ring One blocker, and one Ring Three blocker. Ring Three being the Halo Insiders, us, the the awesome gamers that we are. Well, they recently upgraded up to Ring One. And they found a few more issues, in fact, five more issues with the game. So then they go back, fix those, send it back to Ring 1, and it looks like those issues were resolved, and it looks like they're going to be going to Ring 2 pretty soon, which means after that, Ring 3 being the Halo Insiders who people have signed up. So it sounded like it's coming around pretty close, guys. I would say probably within a week. I would say we might get a chance to play some Flight 3 awesomeness, so definitely looking forward to that. Of course, I do want to reiterate that's just my speculation. Postums, make sure to not put any kind of timeline when it comes to the flighting updates, guys, because the way game development works, anything can pop up at the last second and completely derail everything. So keep that in mind. But my speculation is that we're going to get this within a week definitely within two weeks that would be my guess and while we're talking about halo reach and all that awesome that's gonna be coming with it we're also gonna be checking out some of the armor customization that was actually shown in this blog update you can see some screenshots here of some elites they just look oh so well done in unreal 4 it just looks so good you can tell the colors are really vibrant really popping out here and something that's uh you know that was actually kind of one of the major criticisms of reach that the colors were so muted and you can see right here that they're very vibrant very much like your standard halo which it depends if that's what it's going to look like in the ui and not in game but we'll see how it actually plays out i'm assuming this is just like armor customization ui uh, they do list off a bunch of the different uh, elite armor sets that are going to be involved with this game as well and they also showed up some spartan armor sets on top of that which obviously these are also looking just as good if not even better but i just want to say guys uh you know we have seen some speculation of some unreleased armor sets going to be coming to reach potentially i mean they're in the game files and things like that but you know they were originally in the game files back then and but never were released and so one of the things that was brought up was uh that there were like armor sets that were brought throughout the different dlcs when it comes to reach so one of the questions was a lot of people have been asked about various DLC armors that come that came out during Halo Reach. What are you planning to do with them? And uh, they said like if it's been in the retail version of Reach, it's going to be in the game. At least that's what they're planning on doing. Is what they said. And so uh, no, they don't really mention anything about some unreleased armor sets. I just didn't make it to the retail. I'm assuming that they're just trying to look just to give you just the exp essential experience of Halo Reach. And then if anything they can do on top of that, more than welcome to buy it. I think right now they're probably just looking at just to get what is expected done. So some of the things you're going to need to do to prepare yourself for Flight 3, I'll let you know that there's going to be a much bigger player pool when it comes to this flight. I think almost everyone, I would assume, is going to be invited with this. Not everybody, but a majority of people, I would say, are going to be invited with this flight. And you're going to need to do a few things before you get a chance to play it. Because if you don't, it's really going to mess some things up. So you really want to say 
uh, you guys really want to listen into some of these details here. One is that you're going to need to install the Xbox Insider app. Now this is what you need to do back in 2018 when MCC was originally fixed. I was part of that flighting program. It's pretty easy to install. I do have a video of how to download the whole thing. It's in 40 seconds. It's a very short video. It tells you exactly what you need to do. I will link it on the little card up here. I will link it in the description down below if you guys want to figure out how to do that. Uh, you, if you already have that build, uh, you might also have MCC already on your uh, Xbox there ready to play but what you need to do is actually delete the existing Halo Insider builds as in basically when you get that invite to play you're going to be opted in to download it and then basically your Xbox becomes very confused and goes wait I already have it why do I need to download it and then it messes things up just clear out your Halo Insider build trust me it's not going to ruin everything for you guys another very important thing is to unenroll from old flight rings. I'll read this verbatim what they say here. If you previously participated in public flights on the Xbox One and you have deleted your old builds, please make sure to remove yourself from all flight rings you have participated in. If this step is not followed, when you attempt to install the newest flight build, it is possible for you to reinstall the previous build. Please be sure to select the unenroll option for Halo MCC Insider build in the Xbox Insider application. And know when you actually are gonna be invited, guys, you gotta make sure you keep an eye on your emails. Uh, keep an eye on your emails. Uh, keep an eye on that trash folder, your spam folder, your updates folder, just anywhere on your computer in your email that you provided for the Halo Insider program, please read it. We definitely saw a lot of people who did not realize they were invited to the previous flight, missed out, and were super bummed about it, understandably. Now, the goals with Flight 3, 343 3 mentions here is that the idea is that they want to just test out the player versus player matchmaking at scale on the Xbox One. They may, they take note they say at scale, so basically a normal load of what they would expect players to be playing on for you know a, a certain play session. Meaning there's gonna be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people invited with this flight, guys. So your odds again, or I say, are much better than the previous two. And they say that they want to just make sure that uh, you know that the matches are connecting pretty well. Things went pretty well for Flight Two too. There were some bugs, but you know they were caught. And that's the whole point of this flighting program here, guys. And I just want to also not only just test the functionality of the PvP matchmaking, but also how the game feels, how it plays, how the inputs, how the modes, and different things that the game has to experience, just the overall game experience. How does it play out? You know, obviously. Uh, you know, Reach had its own sense of feel and motion compared to any other Halo games as well as each Halo game does. So you know, they want to make sure that they want to get this down properly. And so that's why, you know, not only is it just the functionality, but also just the feel of the game itself. Also to mention guys here, they do have a little bit for graphics card setups. As we do know that Flight 3 is going to have a part two for PC multiplayer as well. And uh, a lot of people are, I'm sure, are gonna wanna crank their PCs as much as they can to get as much ex performance and the best experience they could possibly get out of Halo Reach, understandable. Uh, they do mention here that a lot of graphics cards with SLI or Crossfire setups, that means if you have an NVIDIA card, two NVIDIA cards, SLI together to get like a super card kind of thing, or an AMD Crossfire setup with two graphics cards set up together, that they are not going to be supported. Uh, generally, they found that with general card manufacturers, they needed to go to them to kind of get some kind of patch put into them. The manufacturer said the games perform well enough on just one card. You don't need to. It's overkill. And so then they're basically saying the dual graphics card setups are not going to be supported with uh, at MCC on PC, which is understandable. I mean, uh, the newest game is going to be added in there. Well, I guess the newest game is 2012. And so most of the people should be able who are playing on PC or should be able to run these games. Um, I mean, I'm able to play Battlefield 4, which was a much more intensive game, 
and streaming at the same time on my current PC, which is not that great. And so I would assume that, yeah, I have an SLI would be a rather overkill. There's no need for you to get 200 plus FPS in the, one of these games, really. And so they keep an eye out for that, guys. So you're only going to be able to use one graphics card while playing MCC PC. Oh, hey, do you remember those legacy map and mode migrations that happened about like a month ago? And now uh, we haven't really heard much from them. Well, some updates have happened with that. So as we do know that we previously had, if you were playing on PC and wanted to play some of your legacy maps, uh, from the 360 days, you'd have to log into your Xbox One and then that would upload into your file share on from the 360 modes. Well, it turns out you don't need to do that anymore. So all your original 360 modes and maps, if you're playing on PC, will already be transferred over to your file share. Though, if you're looking to transfer over your MCC maps and modes uh, to put over the PC, then you do have to log into an Xbox to do just that. So again, just to reiterate, your Xbox 360 modes and maps will just transfer over to your file share if you're playing on PC. You do not need an Xbox involved with that. Now, if you're trying to transfer, your, transfer over your MCC content, you do need to log into your Xbox, which will transfer it over to your file share on PC. It's a weird setup, I know, but they figured out a way to make it much easier for you PC players. So that is a very awesome feature to know about as well. And lastly, to boot, since it is October, it does mean that Halloween is happening this year. And much like last year, that they're going to be releasing out a nameplate for people who play 10 matches of infection in social matchmaking. It is the brains nameplate for you guys right there. And uh, I did earn this one back when they did the flooded playlist last year because I just wanted it. Well, now you get another chance to earn it again. It will be available to be earned uh, from August, October 1st to the 31st. Just play 10 social infection maps, matches within that month of October and you'll receive it. So pretty awesome there. So yeah, guys, that's a lot of news information to give to you guys. But hey, it's awesome. It's coming closer and closer. I can smell the Flight 3 awesomeness coming our way. It's like a bun in the oven, but it's just not quite ready yet to be served to us. So if you guys like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. That really helps out the channel and the video a lot. Help more people stay involved with the news process of MCC. If you guys like these news informational videos, please, please make sure to leave a comment as well, as I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep you up to date with everything going on in Halo. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.